Yo, what up world, back with another one. Today we're just gonna be on some regular voice talking, maybe a little bit hybrid ASMR, not so hyper, but mildly nice, you know? Anyways, I did that video, uh, the other one there, and I was getting all these re replies being like, wow, this is a new tone for you. It's, it's, a, it's a little more a baritone, a little more Don't say it, but say it. Anyways, some people said it. It wasn't me. People said it. But it was more of like a... I know what you mean. It's not even about sexual. It's more like... Just like... That like... Masculine baritone like... Seductionary, but like... Almost like I'm reading you... Uh, you know, like a tale... Of Christmas while sipping hot chocolate or something. Like, it's more like that. It's more like a... Like a... Like a, like a warm masculine baritone which i do have the capacity to do evidently anyways let's get off that topic and get to the main topic that is double meat spicy bmt sub okay now on top of that i got the sun chips i was in great debate in 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 the store i was like what do i get i usually always go straight for the Miss Vicky's because I love the crunch, but I love a sun chip as well. I love that like wheat, crispy, wavy thing. And these looked really good, even though they, you know what? I got duped. I realized I got duped. Garden vegetable, it's just it's new packaging. And this new packaging definitely leads me to believe it's like a healthier choice. It looks like a nice garden cream cheese. Marketers are genius. I just realized that this used to be the green pack that looked standard as shit so anyways we got the garden vegetable i do love i do love a sun chip now what i'll say is this you're gonna be like black hoodie why did you get your 12 inch sub wrapped in two well here's why and this while i'm unwrapping is a pro tip is a pro tip When you get a 12 inch and you have to travel with it, backpack, walk, whatever, wherever you're gonna go, go do whatever it is, you get it wrapped in a 12 because, or sorry, two sixes I should say, you get your 12 wrapped in two sixes because that way you can carry them in a flat way. Whereas if you have a 12 and it's on that like hanging by the bag like this, all your ranch, which extra, you know me, but all the sauce that you got on there, it's going to come running down gravity wise. All your sauce is going to end up like being pulled by gravity and you're going to get soggy butt bun, soggy bun butt, soggy bun butt. And at the end, and it's like you, you try one half and you're like, where's my sauce at? And it's like, it's all in the butt of one bun. And I'm not, I don't, and I don't play these games. It's not for me. I'm very into a, uh, into a two wrap. And then I carry them on like a, a level playing field. And so that way, I'm definitely the whole last thing. It's just that it's a level playing field. The sauce doesn't run. And then my life is better. Also, I always bring additional wet flavors. But we know this about me. Okay. Let's look at the goods. Let's get into a bite. Actually, let's crack into these. And then get into a bite. It's a dump. All right, sick, perfect. So I guess the commentary initially is, we always have to look at it. It's the Italian herb and cheese bread. It's my favorite bread. And I'm a veggie connoisseur. I got double meat because you got to. And if you really need to know, what my veggies are, it's lettuce, tomato, pickle, red onion, cucumber, banana peppers, and green pepper. That's it. Mm-hmm. 
Oh my god, the garden vegetable. Mm-mm. You guys. Play around, you won't be around. That's what's really up. Easily. There's something magical about Subway. Most people like I think like a lot of people chirp Subway or like it's it's like it's negligible. I don't get it. I feel like Subway has such a magical like chemically awesome flavor and maybe that's why but it's like the it's just the McDonald's of healthy sandwiches this is not healthy this is as bad as for you as McDonald's or anything else let's not sit here and pretend that Subway's healthy it's not it's a gang of bread <laughs> with a bunch of processed meats and GMO vegetables and fatty sauces like I don't know how they ever got to the point where they were considered healthy. That's the weird part. It's like I feel like a lot of people's minds are legit corrupted by the idea that Subway is healthy. It's like, nah, bruh. <laughs> it's just as bad as anything else. Go eat a Whopper. Go eat it. I fully spelled that. We eat a Big Mac. We eat anything else. It's the same difference. It's that double meat. Do you want to know the difference? Here's the difference. Those other same brainwash reputable companies don't have an ex fat pedophile in jail as their brand representative or ex brand representative. <laughs> That's the difference. And it's weird, like Subway, you know, inconsequentially didn't plan for that, but They fucked up and got a pedophile representative. Yet still purvey health. true that's a meal fit for kings So I got a funny little story about getting procuring the subway. And it goes like this. I walk into the subway, I get in the line, and in the line, I'm behind like a six foot, like bleach blonde, late thirties, like fit, almost stripper-esque biker woman. And in front of her is her man, and her man is like, have you ever seen um, Sons of Anarchy? The dude Bobby, he's got like 
the you know, like the charcoal looking like sideshow bob like that hair like that really frizzy type hair this dude's probably about clocking in at about five eight and a half maybe you know his girl's taller than him i'm taller than him he's got the summer biker look and by that i mean he's got um sh uh, army camo shorts on and you know you know these guys it's like this is a subgenre of human it's a biker guy he's got the t-shirt but on his arm he's got the black travel tat and he's got like the skull rings and he's just that guy he's definitely that guy he wants to own a harley but he has a honda vulcan or whatever right anyway we're in line the woman the girl biker chick chick ask her subs being dressed and then da -da -da, and then she gets honey mustard and then he goes like no mayo because it's like he knows his girl right like oh like she's supposed to have mayo because she's like a mayo fiend or whatever and she's like no 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 don't need any extra mayo and i just me being me as like chef boy or me because i can look at the honey mustard at Subway and know just by the consistency of it that it's a mayo based honey mustard. There's two types of honey mustard. There's mayo based and non mayo based based. <laughs> and from this channel and from my just my general background of cooking, you know, and chefing some things up, I'm qualified to speak on honey mustard mayo. Sorry, mayo based honey mushroom. So I can't hold my tongue and I just say out of like food passion, I'm like, I'm like, no extra mayo required. That honey mustard is, is a mayo based honey mustard. And she turns to me and she's like, she's like agree. She's like, yeah, 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 it is. Don't need it. And then and then all of a sudden he this this like biker like kind of smaller like he like looks over and he's like oh yeah is that right and then at that point like and here's a shout out to any dudes with their woman like if you want to remain in an alpha state you don't react to somebody actually just saying something out of like a like I wasn't hitting on anybody's girl or nothing. It just, but he took it that way. So he went into like protective, like alpha, alpha. I call that beta, beta boy. If he if he really felt secure in himself, he wouldn't give a shit. He'd like engage. He'd be like, oh really? Like, is that what what that monster's made out of? Ha 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 ha. Like he would have joked, but he went into defense mode and was like, like in his brain, he's like, oh this guy's trying to like get my girl. So. He started like like eyeing me down and like like kind of posturing and like had like an attitude and then he moved over in front of his girl and like took her space because she was closest to me but he like was so insecure that he shuffled over I think I'm trying to pick up his girl I'm like all I'm talking about is honey mustard, dude. Like, no worries. But he's like, is that right? Shoveled her over. And then here's the funniest shit. It's my favorite move. And fellas, I got to tell you, if you have anger issues or you're insecure and you're quick to jump up and protect your woman like that when she's not even being threatened or at all, 
this is the funniest shit and if you find it happening to yourself then I'm sorry to tell you but you're a beta boy as you're insecure as soon as your woman can sense that you're getting heated and in protective mode because women don't want confrontation women are like women already know that i wasn't even on the level of like trying to pick her up i was just talking about honey mustard mayo based honey mustard she agreed when you're insecure as a man and you start getting aggro and shit this is the this is the telltale and this is how you know you you, you fucked up and how you look weak in front of your woman as soon as she gets tell your tell your blood is starting to boil and you're trying to be confrontational boy and this is what she started doing she started rubbing his back she started rubbing his back like trying to calm her man down because she knew because in that in that case she's the alpha she's smarter than you at that point socially and emotionally you're a woman it's smarter than you and it's hilarious I just saw her start rubbing his back and I can tell his sub was up next to take the order to, for him to get his toppings and I could tell that he was so preoccupied in his mind with how much he didn't like what I said that as he was getting his back massaged by his woman who's trying to calm him down he couldn't even focus between him and the guy on his sub like he was like stuttering his words and like like it was like he was like it was like oh what ingredients do you want and he was like stuttering and stopping and stammering and like being like because he was so invested in the fact that he was like pissed that I would say anything about his girl's honey mustard it's like the whole time I was just coming from a booty perspective And it's like, in my head, I'm like, I ain't even trying to be at your girl, dude. Like, that's your woman. All good. She ain't even my flavor. At all. Not my vibe. I'm just, I was on some passionate honey mustard. I love honey mustard. It's my favorite dressing. Outside of ranch, honey mustard, like, honey mustard ranch. Those are my two favorites. So. It was just mad funny. Because I've experienced that so many times with dudes, like. The most secure, man, so was clutch by the way that you can be with your woman if a dude says something like that just turn and be like like you know you have her like you like she's there with you right if somebody chirps up from behind and says something about honey mustard you literally just engage in the idea of like like his like his girl did she was like yeah that's right it is a male based honey mustard he, he's like he was like you just be like really i didn't know that about honey mustard because in that in that sense it's like you're owning the fact that it's like my girl's with me she ain't worried about you even if in your head you're like oh this guy's trying to like instigate some pickup on my girl it's like no and even if he was trying to through honey mustard you say oh really i didn't know honey mustard and then it starts like a dialogue and then it's like a weird friendship and then from there you might be able to, to tell if the banter is this person trying to make an advance on your girl or not.
and then to end the shit on some really funny story note kind of thing on like within the same dude a block and a half later he went out to my sub I walk down I go to wait for the streetcar I see the same man but now he's alone outside of this Rexall, which is like a shopper's drug mart or like a, a, a drug, like a, like a like a local drugstore. He's literally outside. His his girl's nowhere to be found. It's him alone. But now he's perched on a windowsill, peering through the window, watching her shop. And the whole time, I know for a fact he paid. He paid for the subway, and my guess is that he gave her the card or the money and she was like i gotta go in and buy snacks or da, 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 da. so my man is perched on the windowsill keeping tabs watching his girl in the rexall buying whatever she needs to do, probably some eyeshadow and whatever because women is women is women be a little, a little sneaky like that like it's like oh i gotta do it but then they might get a little mascara or whatever too. That was the ultimate conf confirmation moment when I was watching him watch his girl from outside shop with his with his credit card. I know I have a mostly male audience. That's called being subdued, insecure, and a beta boy. Don't do it. Don't be it. It's a bad look. You're born in this world as a man. Be a man. Don't be an asshole. Don't be a dick. Be a man. Be confident. Be secure. Know in yourself that you own the fact that your woman is there for you, that she's with you. Don't be intimidated by another man. If there's a girl choosing to spend time with you, it's because she has chosen to spend time with you. So therefore you cannot publicly portray the energy of second guessing yourself. Then you just look weak, and that's that's not a masculine quality. And women don't want that. Women need you to own yourself. They don't want you to own them, though. They want to own yourself so that they can feel secure in knowing that you will lead and guide them and take charge properly but not be commanding or controlling or abusive or anything like that. Just masculine energy. Owning your energy as a man, leading, guiding, can't figure out the next word, but you know what I mean. Women do not want to be owned or controlled. They want to be come. They want to know that within you, they can have confidence in your confidence and your providership and your your lead your 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 leading them and your comforting and your providing and your problem solving and things like that. And women have those traits as well. It's just that by nature, 
men are the ones who are supposed to take that role. Anyways, once again, way too deep for a double meat Subway sandwich. But at the same time, I love sharing my flow state with you and my wisdoms in relativity to my experiences and the funny experiences that happened to me and the elaborate the elaboration of such so till the next one you guys know what to do you gotta eat good live well stay true